Yo, what up guys? And today I'm going to show you that um, how to use your um, animation Im image texture animation node in Octane versus Cinema 4D properly because it's a uh, I'm really struggling with this in my recent recent project for the music video for Metal Band. So let's start with this. And so first of all I'm going I'm willing to show my animation on the screen so uh, I don't really know why but it seems that uh, Octane still can load any um, MOV file or MP4 file you know sort of like that you can only load the image texture the so the so-called image sequence so what I'm gonna do is you need to render your sequence first like I got a sample right here so like a glitch or something and it start with the zero frame until the 115 frame so let's start with this I'll put this texture into uh wait a minute i'm gonna put this texture into the image texture node and as you can see uh yes as you can see it's showing our screen here but when you uh, move the timeline, it just, you know, it just doesn't work. It just keeps showing the same image. image. So how are we going to do that? First of all, you need to go to animation. And since, I don't know if you remember that, but it starts with the zero frame until the 115. So let's type in it. 0 to 115 and as for now you can see that when the timeline is playing it's uh, the, the, the image sequence is working right now and and the next problem is that it only it only plays one time so as it's a glitch sequence so we were uh, wishing that it can you know completely uh, can play forever right so you can just click here the mode and the loop and it will just keep looping the glitch until forever I guess <laughs> and for the next thing that I found out that it's really important is that uh, when you render out this image sequence you have to know that what frame rate are are you rendering like for this case I'm rendering out this sequence for 24 frame rate 24 fps so it's really really important to type 24 in the in your project fps and also the uh the render settings here or it will play not as you want because uh at this case i'm working with the director and he's really hoping that every point that the the you know the beat the music the metal music playing he really want to match the beat beat so it's really important so make sure you're uh setting all this frame rate in the right make sure you set uh, the everything in the right same frame rate like um here's wrong uh, it should be 24 second per, 
per friend. And the next thing, next thing I want to show you is that uh, not every project we start with the zero friend rate, right? So maybe we can start with the uh, 20, 25 friend. But the 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 octane will also, will still playing the image sequence before this frame before 25 so it's also it still start with the zero frame so how do we gonna fix that uh here's so here's the timing select the range and type like uh i want the sequence start with the 25 frame rates and ending in not frame rate sorry want to start with the 25 frame until the 80 frame and you can select if you want to loop or something whatever you want and now everything just worked fine now and you can look uh, at 25 frame we got the first frame in our sequence so basically that's what i want to show you about today so uh, let's get a conclusion uh, first of all you need to check out that what frame rate you are rendering rendering out in your image sequence and make sure that you set all the fps the same in the render settings the project settings and the image sector settings and the rest of all is just what i've just said and hope you uh learn something in this in 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 this showcase and see you next time thanks i'm johnny